Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. Dave's 411. If you were to follow me around in a day, one question you would hear not once or twice, but many, many, many times is the following. Dr. Dave, isn't the cholesterol medicine I'm on called a statin dangerous and won't it cause liver failure? I am going to answer this question once and for all and hopefully allow everyone's livers to rejoice. Oh, and remember, if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest information on how to find the fountain of youth, then check out my website, drdavedegatti.com. That is right. Studies have shown that visiting drdavedegatti.com will make you look 10 years younger just by spending 10 minutes on my website every day. Okay, well, there are no studies linking my website to looking younger, but you will definitely feel younger, so check it out. Statins, we all know what they are, and they are very effective lipid lower medications. Names such as Lipitor, Crestor, Zocor, just to name a few. These medications can be life-saving and are safe, but for some reason, they have gotten a terrible rap when it comes to their effects on the liver. Uh, there can be liver complications. And statins cause liver damage. Did you even know that there was a statin liver safety task force? I have been practicing cardiology for over 15 years and have treated thousands of patients with statins and can tell you from my personal experience, I have never seen a patient develop liver failure from a statin when they were properly monitored. Now I'm not pushing statins, especially since I'm a huge proponent of lifestyle, but sometimes these medications are necessary. One other extremely important point, I am not speaking about people who have underlying liver disease. I am speaking about the average person who has a normal liver and regular lab tests with their healthcare provider. Here is the bottom line. When a group of liver doctors called hepatologists met and reviewed the studies on statins, they concluded that the incidence of liver failure in patients taking statins appeared to be no different from the incidence in the general population not taking statins. So put another way, a person taking a statin does not appear to be at a higher risk for liver failure than a person not taking a statin. Okay, so I think we can agree that taking a statin is not likely to cause a higher incidence of liver failure than not taking a statin. What about an increase in liver function tests or liver enzymes? A review of three trials with over 112,000 patient years of exposure. Yes, I said 112,000 patient years of taking a statin therapy. There was no difference in the incidence of severity of liver function tests when comparing a statin with a placebo or somebody not taking a statin. Even the Food and Drug Administration has recognized that statins are generally safe and in 2012 decreased the amount of blood tests to monitor liver function while taking a statin. The FDA now says that you should have a liver function test soon after starting a statin or after switching to a new one. If everything is fine, no further blood test is needed unless a problem arises. Okay, so there you have it. Some reassurance that the statin you are taking is unlikely to cause liver failure. Make sure to reach out to your healthcare provider with any additional questions. Okay, who wants to hear a famous Dr. Dave joke? Introduced for the first time ever. What do you call it when a yellow jacket has inflammation of the liver? Hepatitis B. The old saying is, donate a liver, you get called a hero. Donate seven of them, you're probably getting arrested. Okay, everyone, I'll stick with cardiology. Until next time, this is Dr. Dave.